Hey, how you doing, everybody? Sarasota Tim. Here's a little quick tip for you on regenerative regenerative braking. If you have a hybrid or an electric car, you have regenerative braking. Well, what is it? Uh, it's a mechanism that puts kinetic energy back into the high voltage uh, lithium battery that your car has. So rather than using your foot brake, uh, on my 2024 Honda Accord, uh, right behind the wheel here, there's a little paddle. Uh, you can see it right there. And if I hold that, I can click it multiple times when I uh, get off the gas pedal and my car will slow down, providing uh, kinetic power back into my battery. And this is indicating my battery level of my hybrid car here. And then there's another paddle right here that I can literally click to uh, release the brake. So if I were to be going on the freeway and I'm coming off on an exit and I click this, you'll feel the car slow down. I click it again, it'll really slow down some more. And a third time, and it really uh, helps you out. It's nothing alarming, it's, it's very good. And it puts the power back in your battery, like I say. And this one over here, if you need to go back, you can either press the pedal again and it completely turns it off. Or if you just like to lighten the braking a little bit, you can hit this and that will take it up one so it's not braking as hard. Now these paddles are very popular and found on most new cars today as a shifter. But these are not shifters. These are regenerative braking paddles for electric and hybrid uh, cars. I have a 2024 Honda Accord. Now I learned a new tip and that's what promoted me to make this video. If you uh, drive your vehicle and you select uh, economy, normal, or sport mode on this little indicator here, uh, you will change, like it says right here, uh, to normal and to sport. If I drive on sport, and I engage my regenerative braking, when I let off the gas, uh, it'll work as usual. And then when I gas again, when I hit the pedal, uh, it turns it off like, it does, like it's supposed to. And then when I let off the gas again, it remembers and it keeps it on. It keeps it on. I don't have to use it anymore. It has a memory and you can set it on regenerative one, you know, like an easy brake, two or three. <coughs> I like two myself. So, but maybe you don't want to drive in sport mode. Maybe you want to be where you get the best mileage and you want to be in eco mode. Well, if you do this, it won't, it won't stay. Uh, as soon as you stop or come to a complete break and take off again, or if you apply it and then hit the pedal again, it turns it off. And when you let off the pedal, it doesn't do it unless you tap it on again. Well, I found out the trick. And all you have to do is hold this for a few seconds and it will keep it on. Not when you're driving, but when you let off the pedal, it will memorize what setting you have it on. So if you hit it once, twice, and then hold it, now, whether you brake and pedal or whatever you do, when you let off the pedal, your car is going to engage regenerative braking. You do not have to use it anymore with your hand. And to, you know, to go back, uh, all you have to do is hold or, or, or bump it up one. If you don't want it on two, uh, go back to one or just hold it on and that turns it off. So that's a little tip for you there. Uh, regenerative braking is good to have uh, when you let off the gas pedal. So it keeps your, your, your EV mode, your um, lithium battery that these hybrid uh, cars have. So when you're driving low speed and in city, you have a battery fully charged to push the car. And so you have to keep that battery up. So that's how you do it. And that's how you can hold it. Just hold that button on for about two seconds. And now when you let off the pedal uh, and, and press the pedal again and let off the next time, it will remember it is still on. And then just to turn it off, hold this one over here and uh, you're good to go. So I hope that helps you out on regenerative braking.